You know, here at North Carolina, we've got a, a pretty nice brand, but we haven't done a lot of work here in the building for really 30 something years. And for me, having our brand shown in a different way, in a more modern way, uh, was really extremely important. You know, I think when you are in a renovation of a facility, you want to really tell the story of the institution. You want to really touch the, the history and tradition of the people that have built the place. This locker room and this entire team area speaks incredibly well to our history and tradition. University of North Carolina basketball has been around for a long time and been very successful for a long time. And we did not want to just bring in something that would you know, be all glitz and glitter. We wanted it to help tell the story of the tradition, the history of North Carolina basketball. Uh, we've had a lot of guys, including six who are still alive, that were National College Players of the Year. So we wanted to bring that history into the 16, 17, 18 year old prospects who are walking in and let them know uh, that this program was really good a long time ago. You're not going to set the world on fire just by you walking in, but look what you can join. And I think that there's been a good story that's being told down here in this hallway. So I think part of the experience as you walk through is the history tradition of success and having the young people know that there's a lot of responsibility that goes with the opportunity that they are given as well. You know, I think as you walk around the various spaces, there are so many things that you can, you can enjoy. There are some people that are just completely enamored with the Michael Jordan shoe wall. All 31 shoes is an incredible design and graphic that everyone wants to see. But the current players also want to see the gear, the things that, um, that they may get while they're here. The former players are enamored with the locker room. The players' lounge is something that is, is tremendous. Our kids spend a lot of time in there. It's a place to bond, a place to get together. And then we also have some space for donors. So pre-game, we can entertain donors and they can see our team and build those relationships. So it really depends on your perspective and what's the, the best place. I mean, I like it because it builds a sense of community. It's a welcoming environment and people really feel good about being here. There's an arms race out there in college athletics, whether we like to admit it or not, and we don't like to get involved, but we do like to promote what we have. And recruiting is like shaving. You take a day off and somebody notices. And so it's, it has to be that way with your facilities, trying to show that this is first class all the way. I think about that all the time. That we want it to be luxurious. Uh, for a month that we've uh, been in this area, the favorite place for me to hear is walking in the locker room and seeing my players on game night and having that feel, this is new, this is fresh, this is outstanding. In your, uh, your area here, uh, in the tunnel, in the locker room, out in the hallways are extremely important to us in telling our story, but also, hopefully, setting some goals that some of those prospects will say, boy, it'd be nice to have my picture up right there. <laughs> <laughs>